and uh, welcome back to uh, Hack Attack live on twitch.tv forward slash chess and uh, I was going to switch over to some one minute chess but um, instead I've been challenged to some three minute games by Daniel Wrench uh, a staff member here uh, over on chess.com and uh, if for those of you who were watching last week or who tune into the highlight shows um, Danny didn't have his best week playing one minute chess uh, so uh, here he is back for a little bit of revenge uh, with slightly more time for both sides on the clock um, and what opening am I going to play? Let me try a Royal Lopez. Um, oh, he's playing the Berlin. What am I going to do against that? Let me see. There's some, probably some fun lines that I can do against this. D4 maybe? Uh, how does this go? Let me try this. Um... Knight d6 takes on e5. I'm obviously not interested in playing a Berlin ending live on uh, on Hack Attack. That would not be my style at all. Uh, just asking Danny how many games he wants tonight. Ooh. Knight d6. Uh, what's going on here? Well, I had to take that off. And then rookie one check, I suppose. How does this line go? I'm trying to remember where white's um, lines come from. Some lines, his counterplay. Uh, is it bishop g5 here? Oh, it must be knight c3 to d5. Hmm. Oh, I've wasted a lot of time. This must still be some kind of theory. But but I don't know. Maybe it's not. It should be 6. I can play knight f4 perhaps. Um, mm, not all that convinced by my level of uh, preparation in this game. So I'm going to offer a second pawn. Uh, as you saw earlier tonight. When I'm frustrated that uh, one pawn sacrifice isn't working, then uh, then I just sacrifice another pawn. Uh, Danny's saying I get the feeling you know this better than me, Danny. No, no, I don't. You're completely wrong there. Uh, the The only likelihood is that neither of us know anything. But I'm just going to tell him that. Uh, getting back to the game, which is probably a good idea, I'm going to ignore the fact that I've got a pawn on pre here and attempt to carry on attacking. Rook e8. Oh, I really need to start just calculating. Now, queen. Oh, I almost went queen d4. Ah. Knight h5 is a move, then f6. Let's go b5. Uh. uh Queen d4, f6. Oh, queen d4, bishop f6. Whoops. Oh, I need some kind of big attack here. Maybe knight d4 is the way to do it. Okay. I really need to play knight h5 at some moment here. I think I'm taking too long about doing it. It's going to reach the stage when it's no longer useful. And I'm going to regret things. Let's play it now. Bishop e5, f4, bishop take, bishop g4. Oh, this is fiendishly complicated. Oh, it's far too complicated for me. Let's go queen d2 and hope to go queen g5. 50 seconds, I've got to speed up. <coughs> speed up or mate him, that's pretty much the uh, two choices I have. Or lose. Losing is an option. Not an option that I'm particularly keen on uh, um, going for. But it just feels like um, what looked like a really nice attack is no longer that convincing. 
I've still got a lot of active pieces here, but um, but I don't know. Let's force him to go back. Maybe I can come back again with the knight to h5, and we'll try this a second time around on knight d5. Oh no! I'm just as I had a good idea, I thought of another idea. So um, you only really need one idea, and just need to make it work. Sometimes more than one can just. I don't know. Oh, he's trying to mate me. That's rude. Uh, Queen g5? Let's both just try and mate each other, Danny. Let's make it a deal. Um, oh, you might be doing a better job of it than me. Oh, h6 was a good move, which I just overlooked. And this bishop comes back to g4 again. Ah, uh, no. Two pawns down now, but more importantly, I've got very little time. And uh, I think Danny is going to be taking this first game, unless I can pull off some kind of miracle swindle here. But uh, there's maybe just enough time for me to to do something here, but I don't really think so. Oops, I meant to go to C1, honestly, I did. Um, but I moved too quickly, which is what happens when you leave yourself with no time. Uh, hey ho. Well, that's the way it goes. Uh, okay. Yeah, he still has 28 seconds. Just asking him how many games he wants. Gonna go for a rematch. Um, Apparently he challenged me to unrated, so I think we're just sorting it out now that uh, so that the games can be rated instead. Although it's quite likely to just do damage to my rating. Uh, how is this going to happen? What's the list of players? Okay, here we go. He's managed to challenge me. Okay, that's all sorted out. Uh, but uh, whether or not the game was unrated, uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, Danny wins the game. Um, what to play against d4? Let me try e6 here. Play a little classical Dutch. See if I can get him confused. Uh, let's play knight here. And let's put the bishop on b4 rather than my usual developing square of... Um, where do I normally put it? I normally put it on e7, that's it. But uh, just trying to persuade my opponent to do something strange here. If he goes b4, I think I can play bishop b6. Bishop d2 is pretty similar. c5, I've got queen takes b5. Uh, okay, I'm fairly happy with how this opening's turned out. I've got to make sure my bishop doesn't get trapped on b6 at any point but uh, okay I've got e5 in and got the center and now maybe I can follow up with a quick f4 let's just do it uh, I'm fed up with uh, getting reasonable positions and playing too slowly uh, so whatever happens I'm not going to get horrendously flagged in this game he says hopefully um, queen b3 sets up a little trick with queen c5, uh, with pawn to c5, discover check against my king. So I'm going to get out of that. Also, it might set up some tricks with c5 and taking the b7 pawn, but I'm less worried about that. It's going to go rook e1 here, I think, and queen over to h5. And now we do c c5. What's his big idea? Maybe it's knight c4. Well, so what? Uh, let's just see how this goes. He's going to win back a pawn here by taking on b6. I've got to be careful not to go f3 and allow him to take twice and mate me on the back rank with rook e8, mate. That would be a rather unfortunate way to lose this game. Um, just trying to find some uh, more attacking chances against his king. 
Okay, and he flicks in d5, but I'm a touch surprised about that, because it allows knight e5. What's the material count here, as though that's particularly relevant? Uh, I'm sh I get the feeling he's about to sacrifice an exchange. With rook takes e5. If I was you, Danny, that's what I would do. Really? You can play queen d6 here? Bishop g4 takes on e5. Have I blundered here? Rook e8. Knight takes f3. Knight takes. There are tactics in this position that I'm just failing to consider. Oh dear. Um, something complicated is happening here. I think I can go bishop g4. Rook takes e5, takes on g2. I think that's true. Rook takes h5, I get two rooks for the queen. So, and then takes on h5. What's the material? 3, 6. Oh, it's relatively even. Um, I don't know who's better in this position. Really don't. Uh, although I... Do notice that, uh, despite what I said earlier, I am the one that is behind on the clock. I suspect that d pawn is just really strong here, and that I'm in some trouble. But uh, if I can get to his king, then I can turn this around. But he's going to put knight e3 at some moment. Oh, this is annoying me. Rook e1, d7, rook d1 might be my saving grace here. King f2, rook d1 perhaps, and then I get to go behind. King f2, rook d1, queen b6. Oh man, if he plays that, well, I'm not certain what I'm going to do. King f2, I can go, I'll go rook e2 check. Just to gain a bit of time, king g1, rook e1. And then, uh, see if Danny is going to wimp out with a draw. And if he doesn't, then I'll play on. Okay, that's a plan. He's having a long old think here. Uh, and just goes queen back. But I think this gives me the pawn on d6. This is a major result. You can go queen e7, but so what? I can just... Oh, really? Is that what I've done? Queen c5 just dropping a piece. Nice trick. Nice trick. Oh, do I feel foolish? Yes, I feel foolish. Maybe there's some way I'll save this, but uh, it seems unlikely. Queen and knight are apparently useful pieces. Let's... Maybe I can get a perpetual against his king. Or even, uh, even better somehow. Uh... Maybe you can go queen takes g7 and somehow pick up a rook. King here. Oh, I think it's just a draw. Wow, tough game that one. I was somewhat behind on the clock at the end there, so there was no real choice but to take the threefold repetition. I'm slightly surprised Danny didn't find some way of playing. Um, okay, what to do? Let's go e4 again. And I'll change it up. I don't want to allow him to play another Berlin if he does play e5. Um... So I'll go bishop c4 if he plays knight c6 this time. Not allowing another bit, Berlin. Just saying no more Berlin to him in the chat window. <sighs> and we're following some kind of theory here, I think. He can go bishop e6, but that doesn't really worry me too much. Uh, here... Knight g8 is one idea, bishop e6 is another. But I think I'm a little bit better in these positions. You can go knight b4 and I react with d4. Uh, can I go d4 anyway? e4, knight g5? Guess we'll find out. 
If he has to take and I can go knight takes, then I'm definitely better here. I can go queen f3 and knight f5. This reminds me a little bit of a game that I had not too long ago. Um, where, I, where I did manage to win. And I just think white's better in these positions. Got the two bishops, which I'm a big fan of. Nice active pieces all over the board. It's not it's coming to e5 though, so I shouldn't underestimate um, my opponent's chances. He's going to recapture with the queen. Not queen d4. Knight. The point is to meet knight e5 with rook e1. Oh, not meet knight e5 with rook e1. Because if knight f3 check takes, queen takes uh, e1. So, oh, he's just swapping the queens off. Hmm. Queen F. Uh, uh. That's the sound of a man who doesn't want to swap the queens off, but uh, realizes he has no good alternative. But we can still keep attacking chances in these positions. Just because the queens are off the board, it does not mean that the hack is over. Just. It just means that we have to be a little bit more creative with how about uh, how we go about. Uh, finding attacking moves. Can I go knight h6 here in f4? No, that doesn't work. Let's just bring the knight back to d4. This game uh, is not going as well as it was straight out of the opening, I don't think, but uh, it's still equal material. Um, and no one's blundered anything yet. I kind of blundered into a queen exchange, but that's not the same thing. Uh, queen exchange does not equal an automatic loss unless you're playing Carlson, uh, which uh, I'm pretty certain I'm not. Danny, Danny, a good player though he is, is not quite up to Magnus's very, very exceptionally high standards. But um, what, what actually is my plan here? Well, I'm going f4 to force his knight back around, but um, not certain what the real benefit of that is. Ooh, watching out for my Knight on d4. Maybe I can go bishop c2 and put him under some pressure. And then go b4 and take away the c5 square from his knights. Oh. Is he even going to sometimes be in a little bit of danger in these positions? Maybe not. And he's going to go f5 if I'm not careful. Oh, no, I meant to go g4. Oh. Nasty mouse slip. Whoops. Not a good idea at all to give away that. But uh, we'll fight on. Uh, has allowed me to bring my king to the centre a little bit more quickly. I'm sure Danny's sitting there going, oh, I'm not, not really certain what Tom's up to with that pawn sacrifice. Or, you know, whatever <coughs> whatever he says in, in an American accent. Uh, if you've uh, seen when uh, when we've played before... Uh, and Danny sometimes commentates. He uh, does an impression of a British accent. Or, um, I, I wouldn't say it sounds very much like me, but uh, but who am I to disagree, I suppose. Uh, I, I'm just talking about this because I don't really want to talk about the game anymore. I'm just pawns down. I do have the two bishops. Um, but it doesn't seem to be... Oh, I had the two bishops, excuse me. Um... But it's not worth the two pawns. It's... Oh, Danny wants a threefold repetition. Oh, all is saved. Come on. Oh, he doesn't want a threefold repetition. Well, that's just mean. Toying with my hopes like that. He repeated the position once and uh, I had high hopes. Well, I don't think I'm enough pawns down here. So I'm going to go d5 and try one last trick, which is... To stick a rook on c8 and a bishop on d4 and mate him! Because I've only got two pieces left. Uh, so don't go king g7. Oh, yeah, okay. He kind of spotted my plan. But oh well. Um, my bishop on d4 looks like a really good piece here. And despite him being four pawns up, he still has a little bit of work to do. I mean, only a little bit of work to do. But, um just got to find ways to make this tricky for him. Uh, he's playing quickly enough. Go king f6 and allow me to go bishop d8. Okay, don't fall for that. Uh, 
and I can safely resign. And he's going to go rookie one and win. So, uh, Danny takes a two and a half to half lead. Um, let's say first to four. Uh, just going to wait for him to accept that. Uh, D4, knight, F6. Okay, he says sure. So I've now put a time limit on my comeback. So the comeback starts here, he says, hopefully. And uh, see, I've not played a, a Dutch, but I, what I have managed to do is get some kind of French defence structure. Uh, Daddy is playing very, very quickly. I think he's determined to stay ahead of me on the clock in these games, which is an excellent idea. Not certain about bishop d3, feels a bit inaccurate. If he has to take on c5, then the opening's been a success for me. But I think he's going to have to move this bishop again. And I just go bishop d7 and takes on d4. I'm very happy with how, the way this opening has turned out. I mean, unless Danny has got an idea I'm not sure about. I will wait and see. I think Danny has really brought his A game after what was... Uh, a what he would call a disappointing performance by him last week. Oh, he's decided to sacrifice a pawn. Well, uh, I'm going to annoy him and not take it. Just because if I take on d4, he can suddenly get his knight on b1 into the game. And uh, I'm really just trying to persuade him to take on c5 and allow me to bring this bishop into the game with gain of time. But what I have to watch out for is him going f5 and getting a big attack. But I'm counting on the fact that he's missing his knight and rook uh, in the game for uh, chances for me not to get mated. Um, bishop c2, he wants to go queen d3 and mate me. Now I can see that one coming. f5, he takes f6, rook takes f6, queen d3, and then he's not really threatening very much. So f5 we play, expecting e takes f6 on pass on pretty quickly. Now, queen b3, d3, can I just take on b2? Queen h7 check, king f7. He can go uh, give me a check or something, but it doesn't seem to be that dangerous. Well, okay, so he's just going to move there. That's probably very sensible. And I need to go back with the queen. Maybe I had a better way of doing this. Uh, Got to be careful of um, queen c7. Queen h queen h7 check. King f7. Knight e5. He's going to play. Oh no! Have I no knight e5? I can take twice. And then rook takes b7. I've got. Oh, is Daddy calculated some long forcing variation that wins a rook? It does look like what he's done. Oh no. King f8, queen h8, check, king e7, queen takes uh, g7, king d6, queen takes f6, and that is uh, a whole rook. Uh, well, this is uh, pretty depressing stuff. What to do about this? There's almost certainly nothing I will be able to do. What do I have? Two pawns for the rook. Maybe I can pick up a third. He's, he's going to go rook d1 here, I think. Uh, a minute nine against a minute 24. Right, I'm going to put him under time pressure. And uh, see how his nerves hold up. Because so I'm sure Danny will be, uh, will be very nervous about this... Uh, this match now that he's taken such a big lead. At least I hope so. Takes. Bishop takes d2. Uh, he's not nervous, he's just calculating another win. Bishop takes d2, he had uh, takes on e6 and rook takes b6 ideas. Amongst other things, I'm sure. Just keep on uh, searching for a few ideas here. I'm certain my king is about to get mated. Knight f3 check, I'll go back to f6. Maybe I'll go forward to f4. Nah. No reason not to go back and hit the bishop. Um, 
somehow keeping the game going just a little bit longer here. But uh, slowly running out of uh, ideas. Let's run away with my king. Maybe set up rook takes e6, bishop takes d2 tricks. Uh, he doesn't fall for that. Uh, he could move his knight safely here. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. And rook across. Just somehow keeping the game alive for as long as I can. There go a couple of pieces off the board, but there goes a... Oh, well, it was a piece that he blundered, but his position is so good that it's really just not going to matter. Uh, is there some way I'm going to get a stalemate idea? Uh, see what happens. Drag, drag the king into the corner. Yeah, okay, I resign that, Danny. I think you know how to win that. Oh dear. Uh, F4 must be the uh, the move to to get a comeback. Play a bird's opening. And then D3 and E4. Maybe a quick E4. So it's kind of like playing a classical Dutch with an extra tempo or so. Are you really going to swap the queens off here? Nah, I didn't think so. Uh, Odd opening position that we've got in this game. Going to attempt to be the one doing more attacking. I'm really... Things seem to go wrong in that game from the moment that uh, that I grabbed uh, a rather hot pawn on uh, B2. I think it was probably poisoned. Uh, I can go knight B8 to stop knight e6, can I take on h7, king takes knight g5, king g8, queen h4, rook e8, queen h7, check, king f8. Oh, I need one more piece to be mating him. Ah, uh, come on. There, there. And then bishop... f3, I want to say, takes, takes knight, king g8, queen h4, bishop, pawn to e6. Queen. Let's just go for it. Got to go for it. Um, if I'm going to go down in this uh, best of seven, first of four matchup, I'm going to go down in flames um, by sacrificing pieces. So if you guys rook f8, I kind of noticed that I had queen h7 check, king f8, queen takes g6. And that's when I realised that I really just had to be going for this. And look, all of his pieces are over on the queen side. So it's not easy for him to defend against this. Uh, I'm liking my my chances more again. If he has to play well, rook f6 just means that uh, that I'm going to be material up in this game, um, which is maybe a good thing. In a lot of places, it would be considered a good thing to be material up. I wonder if bishop f3 is going to annoy him, not taking it, and then bishop d5. Well, he put a rook on pre. I'm not taking it. Deal with that one, Danny, if you can. Uh, it's always good to trash talk the guy that's uh, beating you three and a half to a half. Now, not only am I threatening to win this rook, but I'm also threatening queen h7 check ideas. Um, I think I actually am going to win this game now. Uh, so... A risky thing for me to say. But oh I could take two rooks now. Which rook to take? Which rook to take? Maybe Queen H seven check first. King F eight and then Bishop takes F six uh, E six. Threatening mate on G eight, and if Bishop takes then Knight takes wins the Queen on D eight, as well as keeping a mating attack. So I think Danny's gonna resign now. Because uh, he has no counterplay. I am the exchange up with a crushing position. So uh, he does resign. And finally, I get a win on the board. Uh, three and a half, one and a half down. It's going to be a long. It's a long road back. I gave myself a mountain to climb. But um, 
I need to win three more games to take this uh, best of seven. Uh, so onwards we go. Onwards and upwards. Uh, but uh, the momentum is with me with the black pieces, so let's see how that goes. And I'm going to play one of my favourite variations, the Armenian variation. I wonder if Danny's checked out the theory, as we've had this a few times before. Uh, and he's playing very, very quickly, so I suspect that is the case. Uh, I think knight h6 is the best move here. Um, I'm trying to remember how this goes. Maybe I was supposed to take on b5. Oh, not really sure. Let's just take and play knight c6. See what we will see. Knight into f5. Maybe bishop b6. Uh, setting up a little cheapo with d3 check, which my opponent will of course not fool for. He wants to go b5 and shift my knight. I don't want to let him do that. If he goes king h1, I'm going to try h5, I think. Uh, I'm not certain if I am going to try h5 or not. He might have bishop takes f5 if I do. Let's just go in with the knight. Uh, see what we can do here. Rookie 1. Let's just go g6. Maybe get ready to go h5. See if Danny can come up with a plan here. Just checking to see if he can play knight takes d4, but I think knight takes, queen takes e3, and I've got knight takes c2 at the end. So that doesn't seem to work. Uh, so he's a little bit tied up in this position. Of course I haven't castled, but... Um, I, so he's determined to get b5 in. I see, that's his point. Knight takes b4, he captures this off. It's probably an excellent decision from Danny, because things were looking a little bit uncomfortable for him. So I think I have to grab this pawn. But now things aren't so bad. Okay, he's... That was a very interesting decision not to um, take on d4 there. His point is that I can't castle. Let's try a5, bishop b5, check king f8. And running away that way. This is alright. It's very, very complicated. Um, or we could try b1, I suppose. Uh, just getting out of there. Don't want to be in line with that bishop on a3 for any longer than I have to. But it takes b4, I can go bishop a5 and win the exchange. But I'm not certain that I want to do that either. I want to get my pieces out here, really. Okay. Queen e7 to protect the pawn. Bring a rook across to c8. Um, uh, can't defend both pawns, 4, 8, 4. Good thing I'm two pawns up, I suppose. But oh, I really want to be greedy and be two pawns up here. But no. No real possibility of that. Queen takes b4, I'm expecting, and then I'm looking to bring my rook across to c8, I think. Uh, and finally, I have all of my pieces in the game. I think this d4 pawn is just really useful because it, it's restricting him in all kinds of ways. I'm not certain that if I'll be able to hold on to either of these two pawns in the long run, but just hoping to get enough good ideas in before that. So we will see. I'll increase the pressure on c2. Uh, let's see. I'm not certain what my plan is here, but I guess Danny has is having the same problem. Knight takes d4 is his plan. Can, go, can I go knight takes c2? Knight e1, b3, and stuff happens. Oh, let's just play knight c4. Uh, if rook takes d4, I think I can win an exchange with queen... Oh, we... What am I talking about? Just ignore some of that. Um... Oh, my... I'm suffering from brain freeze right now. Just need to play a move. I'm still a pawn up, got a good position. 
Got to watch out for knight f5, picking up this bishop at some moment. That's what he's going to do straight away. Uh, but I think, I thought that maybe I could go grabbing this pawn on c2. This game has suddenly become more complicated again. Danny is uh, very talented at mixing up these games. Let's just get this pawn rolling down the board. Uh, if rook d7, I think I can play uh, pawn to b2. Is my idea here. Uh, Danny's only down to like 18 seconds left here. Well, let's give it a go. I think I can take this off. We'll play queen b4 here. Queen b4 is much simpler. And this should be winning now. Danny's down to less than 10 seconds. I've still got 20. Uh, king takes or king h6. It's probably cleaner to go somewhere my king is absolutely safe from getting checkmated. And after queen c7 check I can come back to h6 with the queen. And it's going to be all over. And Danny loses on time. So the comeback continues. Uh, still a long way to go. Um, if I'm going to turn this around fully. But uh, at least I haven't disgraced myself as much as it was looking like I was earlier on. Uh, so reduced the deficit to just a single point now. Uh, but Danny still leads by three and a half points to two and a half. Uh, and I've opted to go d4, mixing up my openings as much as possible in order to keep Danny guessing as to what I'm going to do. And then give h5, uh, h4 a little move here to provoke him to go h5. Now if I can attack him on the king's side, uh, he can't easily shift my knight away from uh, g5 unless he goes f6 here which is a very risky decision if he decides to make it okay he decides not to and then here and the question is what i'm going to do with my king as well but this is a perfect hack attack kind of position as far as i'm concerned uh, i am pretty happy with how this opening has started uh, let's go knight into f7 if he doesn't sacrifice the exchange here i'm going to go d5 and entrench that knight in on that square. Uh, I really think at some point he's going to have to give up the exchange. Now he's gone c4 to stop me playing bishop d3. But that's castle queenside now. I'm going to look to go g4 and open up the kingside for an attack here. Queen c5. Uh, bishop e3. If queen a5, I've got bishop takes c4. If queen b5, maybe I can even go b3 here. Just be really boring and win material. Um, not that boring, of course. I mean, I, I think by the, the opening that we've played, you can see I'm trying to still play exciting chess. But I can also play g4 as well. So I don't know. So I think, again, this game is going well so far. So g4. Um, let's keep on pushing. Get that h pawn all the way to the other side of the board if possible. g5, h6, bishop h8, h7 check, king g7. My idea is bishop takes g5 uh, with a very, very strong looking attack to me. Um, so he's taken that off. Rook takes. Uh, he, he's going to play rook takes f7, surely. I can't believe that uh, that that black can defend this position. I mean, queen c2, rook takes f7, queen h7 check. Oh man, this must be winning. Queen check. It's more accurate than taking it straight away. And then, do I have bishop h6 here? That would be a nice move to play. Bishop h6, he can't take because a queen takes, and I'm threatening queen h8, mate. Oh no, it takes its check. Uh, queen takes rook g7. 
Uh, oh, please tell me I haven't messed this up somehow. Takes, queen takes. Oh, what is going on? Maybe Danny hasn't noticed that it's check. He, well, he has now. Uh, um, well, he's going to go rook g7 here. And then... And then, am I not actually material down after that? But still, I mean, I was just mating him a second ago. What is this? Oh, I don't believe it. Okay, game goes on. One of my a couple of pawns down, uh, but up on the clock. Okay, I need to get the bishop round to f5 and e6, and then I should be winning again. But that's not so easy. Um, but, uh... Bishop's got itself to f5. Then bishop e6 check, king h8 takes on the... Uh, king takes, queen h8... King f7, rook h7 check, uh, not check, um, but of course he's going to take and then takes back. Uh, queen g8 and queen takes g4. So, and then b3 perhaps? No, not b3. Oh. Still sort of in shock that the, that the game is still going uh, after earlier events. I'm completely thrown off. But uh, fortunately I do have more time than my opponent. So it feels like I'm... I should just about get away with this. But um, he's trying bishop c2 to b3 I think. I'm going to make me... But I'm going to go a3 and give myself a little bit more space for the king. Uh, let's give a check here. And he's going to lose on time, I think. Uh, which will be a massive relief. Uh, I'm literally unable to calculate this second. Uh, just sitting there waiting for his flag to fall. Because... Uh, and takes... And his flag does go, just as he blunders a piece. I'm just going to tell him in the chat that I missed bishop takes h6 was check. Wow, that was uh, an exciting game. So now we have a decider. At uh, three and a half all in this best of seven match, it has gone to a tiebreak game where Danny has the white pieces playing d4. I'm going to play my main defence, the Dutch defence, he's going for this um, Staunton Gambit that he likes so much uh, but uh, I think this line's okay for black but I don't I, I'm just not really feeling that confident um, because uh, my ability to calculate has just been thrown off by that one awful moment, so I just need to re regather my thoughts and uh, concentrate on this crucial final game um, let's see. So at the moment I'm a pawn up, but that really is not the most important factor in the position. Can I go f5 and hold on to it, though? Well, let's attempt to do it. My knight's covering h8, of course, here. I wonder if he'll go g4. I think that's the kind of move that you'd expect in this position. What's going on? Or well, maybe bishop c4. Now d5, knight takes d5, pawn takes, bishop b5 check perhaps? Maybe e6 is a better move. Really am threatening to go d5 now. If bishop takes, I can just go pawn takes. So he really needs his queen not to be opposite mine here. I think I can go d5. Well, 
We will find out. Uh, I'd be surprised if he moves this bishop here, actually. Just because it feels like I've got too much control over the um, centre with this set of pawns on light squares. So I'm expecting him to sack a piece. And that's what we do, in fact, see. And now... Maybe I should have thought more carefully about allowing this. Pawn takes takes on d5. Oh, he takes f5. Knight takes d5 to f4. Okay, I've got to take... Queen takes c4. He'll play pretty quickly. And then he's threatening queen takes c6 ideas. Oh, wow, he's just going there. Oh, of course he wins the piece back. Okay. Uh... Oh, it's my fault. Uh, 2, 5, 3, 5. Equal at the moment, but um, I have a lot of very weak pawns. I'm not going to be able to hold on to any of them. But I do have the two bishops, which really is worth something in this ending, I think. But I don't know. I can't help feeling that, uh, that I'm somewhat worse here. Uh, bishop c5, rook takes c4, I need to take the g file I guess here, or maybe go rook e8, let's just go rook e8, get all of my pieces to active squares and then start searching for for counterplay. Be uh, be unfortunate if this game ended in some kind of draw um, and we had to, had to just play yet another game. At least I'd have white in that game, I suppose. But uh, it's not an impossibility with Danny being a pawn up. But I definitely have some compensation here with the uh, active bishop. I need to get my king to f5 if I can do. He's going to play knight c3 here. But then maybe I can go d4. I wasn't certain whether or not to include the move bishop e3 check, but I decided against it. So I really want to put the, knight, uh, the rook on e2 here. Uh, if it goes knight a4, well, rook e2 here, or d3. d3 takes, takes, uh, um, takes, takes, and then, uh, f3 was what I was worried about. Oh, this is so complicated. What? What am I doing? Um, it's a good question. This doesn't work. King takes, bishop takes, knight takes f2, pawn takes, king d2. Uh, well, yeah. Oh, that's going to be... <laughs> that's not a good way of doing it. Oh, I somehow hallucinated something that... Uh, that uh, something was going on there. But, oh well. Um, Danny eventually managed to wear me down. So, uh, congratulations, Danny. It was uh, an exciting matchup as usual. Anyway, thank you for everyone for tuning in to tonight's Hack Attack. Uh, the show is every Monday evening at 8 p.m. UK time. Um, if you click the follow button, then you'll be alerted of shows before they go live. Um, also, you can follow me on Twitter, at T. Rundle. Uh, you can follow chess.com on Twitter, at chess.com. Um, thank you all for watching and I will see you next week. Goodbye.